Hey, what's up folks? Michael here with Primal Edge, and if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any at all. Okay folks, so this week we're going to be making a camera mount. And let's start off with a clean slate here, and I'm going to bring in a cube. And using the dots here, I'm just going to simply get it to the right dimensions that I want. I'm going about 8 millimeters thick. I want that kind of thickness in there because I'm looking for all the support. Now, if you look over here on the right-hand side, I've got a bunch of different options. I can, if I don't like the square edge here, I can slide it over to whatever I want and really come up with a cool radius. I'm going to go just a little bit here, just enough to kind of soften the edges, not anything too crazy. That looks good. We'll stick with that. And let's see. Um, 75 by 125. Okay, that's this piece right here. Now we need to put a couple of holes in. One here, and then we're going to do one in the front as well. Uh, one of them is for a bolt to hold it to the clamp that you see up above there. And this one is for the quarter 20 that's going to hold the camera. All right, so what I want to go ahead and do is try to recreate the clamp that's actually going to go onto the pole that's going to hold this platform. And you'll see here I'm making these areas that have the four holes in it or the two holes and copying the measurements that I had from over there. I'm going to go with uh, 60 wide and I think 20 is going to work pretty well for the width, I believe. And you'll see that there is going to be four of those. But before, we have to put in a little arm that's going to connect everything together. And it's going to go right down the center here. And I think that's probably about 20, 25, because I think the hole is going to be made with 18, if I remember correctly. And this doesn't have to be very precise. If you're off by a millimeter or two, these are very general. The curves that you see there that are going to go around the pole, that's all well and good but it doesn't have to be exactly to a specific degree. At the end of the day, it just needs to be a curve so that it's not a flat bar trying to be tightened up against a tube. This just allows it to set a little bit better. So I've got the measurements set out here and this looks like it's gonna work perfect here. Now we're gonna take this and drag it. We're going to duplicate it. That's using the control D. Now, if I take these right here and use the align tool, you've seen us use that before and align these things left to right, that makes sure that it's in the center. And I'll use the other align tool to pull it all the way to the end. And before I mess with the other curve, let's go ahead and take a look at this one more time. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do next is select these two items. that up just a little bit. I don't I like that a little bit better. Okay, there you go. Um, and now we're going to group those two pieces together. And then we're going to select the other one. We're going to use our line tool again, set it up there and set it up there. And then we're going to go ahead and deselect it and come over here and just slide this down a couple just like I did the other one. Again, this is completely arbitrary. It doesn't have to be done this way. If you liked them on the end, you could keep them that way. So now I've got everything grouped together and this is going to end up being the back of the clamp that sits on the pole. And we'll put that over here and get it out of the way. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and duplicate it. Now we have a front and a back. These are perfectly identical to one another. And we're going to make the plate that's going to hold the platform for the camera. Let's go ahead and align this triangle tool exactly the way we need to. And we're going to be making this piece right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at something here. Okay, so let's grab this, slide it most of the way over there. We're going to use the align tool again. Align it, uh, let's see. So oh, well, we got lucky with that one. Let's go ahead and flatten that down. 
And we're going to take the triangle piece and lift it most of the way. I like to leave a little bit of meat when I go to uh, merge these together. It just guarantees a good bond. We're going to duplicate it. And now we're going to make the other side using the left arrow. I can nudge it over. I don't have to be precise here, and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to extend this piece out a little bit. Now we're going to select everything and group them together. And that takes care of that piece right there. We still have the mounting holes and the relief for the body of the clamp so that they could sit properly on the pole. And now let's go ahead and all right, now let's go ahead and create the holes for the bolts. I'm doing 10 millimeter. I'm just arbitrary height. It doesn't really matter. Um, I like to keep it smooth, so I max out the sides here. And then, okay. We're going to put... All right, so now I'm duplicating it and I'm making another cylinder that's a little bit wider. I'm going to shorten this one. Let's say make it five. Why not? And what I'm doing is I'm going to make a multi-layered hole item so that when I go to punch the holes in on the clamps, I don't have to keep replicating all of this over and over again. I can make one plug. And so we'll take this piece and this piece, you'll see, and I'm going to center the two together. I got it to the height that I wanted. So now if I go there and there, there we go. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so let's go ahead and take these together and we'll go ahead and group them so they don't accidentally get set apart. So now I have that multi-layered hole item that I was talking about. And I'm going to put one there. Control D to duplicate it. And let's go ahead and get this lined up left to right. And the front to back part is, again, that's arbitrary. You can put it wherever it's comfortable. You can make this platform as large or as small as you need to. Um, the further out you go, the more you're going to want to consider snapping, of course, with leverage. All right, so I'm going to drop this down just a hair. I want a little bit of an indentation there. Um, just to help when I go to tighten it in. Um, if I want to, I can put a rubber gasket there to help protect the bottom of the camera. I've got another one here. I'm going to duplicate that. Let's see. We're going to put this one off to one side. And what I did was I created a duplication. Then I ungrouped it because I wanted a second copy of that larger diameter because I want to put that on the bottom. That's going to give me a, uh, a relief at the top and at the bottom. And again, you don't have to put these reliefs in. I did it because I intend to at some point in the future put a, a little rubber gasket in there to help protect the camera, but it is not necessary. To be quite honest, I'm probably making it over complicated. So let's go over here and align this. Got it. And that looks good. We'll stick that over there. Now let's take this and we are going to, let's see here, create another duplication, this time with just the center one again. And we will set that over there off to one side. Don't really need it just yet. We're going to line everything in the center here like that and like that. And let's see, we'll take that. I'm going to put that over here. I don't want to confuse myself. All right, so let's go ahead and start lining these up. I want one roughly right about there. And I'm going to sink it down just a little bit here so I got a nice, maybe that's too much. Yeah, that'll work. We'll go with that. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not going to work. I'm going to go up just a hair. All right, All right control D and sliding it over to the other side. And I don't have to get them perfect because what I'm going to end up doing is grouping these two. 
I'm gonna, now that's not, it's too low, so I need to make it higher, like I said a minute ago. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna duplicate that again. And I'm gonna raise that up. I'm gonna take the other one here. I'm gonna raise this one up as well. I just needed more room to make sure that that's gonna stay. I needed to make sure that that's going to uh, give me the recess that I want there. I just raise those. Now I'm going to group them again. And I align them to one another, left and right. And now I'm going to group them. Now that they're grouped, I can move them, those two together in unison. And I know that if I... Let me widen this out just a hair. All right, there we go. Now we'll group them. Okay. So I've got these two grouped together. And... And go ahead and that's going to be okay. I'm, well, let's go ahead and hold on. Let me, let me uh, slide them right there. You go. That looks better right there. All right, cool. Got that. Now I'm going to duplicate those and slide those all the way down right about there. Alrighty, and line everything up. Make sure everything is in line and everything looks perfect. Watch what I'm going to do here. You're going to like this part. I'm going to group. I'm going to go over here like this. Line these up. Duplicate them again. And line those up right there. Perfect. Okay, and we'll group those together. Now we have a hole for the camera. Uh... Let's go ahead and group those together. And we'll group those together. Take a look and see what we got. That looks good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is take this piece, which is what's going to hold the plate, and you see me turning it 90 degrees. This will give you an idea of what it's going to look like. But we're doing more than just that. Again, with the align tool, I'm going to make sure everything is centered and... Let me take a look at this. I'm going to raise that up till it gets to. All right, let's see here. I want this to be roughly in between. It's not going to matter too much, and you're going to see why in a second here. Solid again. We're going to actually duplicate it and turn it into a hole. So really there's two of them there, a hole and the solid. So if I take the hole, boom, you see right there? What I did was I duplicated that piece. I made it a hole. So now that's a perfect match. That's a perfect, so you can see right there. Let's try that one more time. Right now there is... All right, so let's move this out and delete it. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and thicken this thing up. We're going to make it to an 11. That's going to guarantee that it's going to it's going to penetrate all the areas. I took the hole I'll make this 11. Now that's going to be a perfect fit. So by taking the piece, duplicating it, and making the duplication a whole, I essentially made a carbon copy that's going to slice out all that extra meat and give me a perfect fit just like that. Now the one thing that I added in here, which you don't really need to, but I did it just because I got a $1,000 camera on this thing, I am making a hole that goes all the way through, all the way through the bottom. What I'm going to do with that I'm going to duplicate it and make it smaller. I'm going to go, uh, maybe 15. 
I'll bring that back over here. Line everything up to the center using the align tool. And let's go over here and find that piece. We're going to click it right there. I'm going to use the nudge tool with the arrow keys. Nudge function, that is. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to center those two pieces to each other so that peg is in the center of that smaller one. Now we need to take this using the black arrow and bring it up to the top. And you see I duplicated that as well. I'm going to go a little bit. There we go. And then go up there and right about there. Okay, that's going to work. Now I'll take this piece and I'll put it down right about there. There you go. Okay, now we're going to make these taller so that the cylinder uh, doesn't have any of that extra meat in there. I'm grabbing that and going to go up. I'll do the same thing down here, uh, pull it down, here we go. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if I grouped all this stuff together right now, everything's going to attach and we don't want that. So I'm going to take all these holes and again, I'm going to duplicate them. Kind of can be a little bit tricky to grab here. There, and make that small. there we go. Make it so I can grab it. Okay, now I'm going to group all the holes together. Where I want it exactly. That is that gonna work? Yeah, that's um let's see. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, cool. Now you can either group these things together or duplicate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. Then I grouped the first batch up with the clamp, the blue one. Now I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna grab all these pieces, and this time I'm gonna do it with the red platform, this hole. I'm going to group those together. Oh, sorry, I didn't grab it all the way. Let's see, let's try it underneath. There we go, grab that. Oops. Right there, grab that. And I'm only grabbing the small hole. I'm going to take that piece. Okay, so now we're going to, we don't need these anymore. We've already made that hole. So now let's go ahead and get this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. This is exactly where it needs to be. So if I take these pieces and grab them like this, then group them together, I now have a hole that's perfectly aligned with the other hole that I created in the bracket. And I've got a hole at the front for the camera. Those four holes on the back of the bracket are going to match the front of the bracket. We've got one last thing to do, and then we can call this project done. We need to take this. We're going to line it back up. We are going to make it flat on the ground. We're going to take this one. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but I just want to line it up this way to make sure everything looks good. Go here and we'll make that zero, bring it up to the level playing field. Now select them both. Use our handy dandy align tool, align everything up that way. And we could probably nudge them together a little bit closer. So I'll use my arrow key to get pretty close. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to grab a whole cylinder. Um, I'm going to make this about 18 millimeters. I know that's the width for the pipe that I'm using, or roughly the width for the pipe that I'm using. And again, I don't have to, but I'm going to make the side smooth. So whoop, hold on. There you go. Now I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to go down a little bit, make it bigger like that. Snatch everything together. Use the handy dandy align tool, align this. Now with this part, it's not necessary to get it exactly perfect. I'm going to use the arrow keys and I'm going to just slide it to the right a little bit here and I'm going to eyeball it. It doesn't really matter if it's exactly in the center or not. You just make sure you've got enough meat everywhere to do the job. And again, we're going to have to duplicate this hole because we're going to have to cut it twice. I'm going to grab the front and the other hole and I'm going to cut that one. And now we're left with another hole. Select that one in the back, group those together. There you go. And that's it, guys. Uh, I printed these out in, in three different prints. I'm sure you could print it all in one, but I just like to do it like that so I can ensure that there's no failures along the way. And if there is, I'm only messing up one item, not the whole batch. With that being said, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. 
Are you enjoying 3D Thursdays? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a great day. Happy printing, and I'll see you soon. Bye.